So question 89 now, a probability distribution, probably. So how am I going to work out A and B? Well, the first thing I know is that for any probability distribution, the sum of the probabilities must be equal to one. So I can write down this equation and that simplifies to 3a plus b equals 0.7. Now I can use the fact that the expected value of x is 2.75. So the expected value of x I get by multiplying 1 by a, 2 by 0.2, all of these things multiplied together and then adding them together. So the equation that I derive from that is this one, and that simplifies to 7a plus 4b equals 1.85. When I solve those two equations, two linear simultaneous equations, I get the values 0.19 and 0.13 for a and b. Now before I go on to do anything more with this, what I'm going to do now is to rewrite the probability distribution with the values of a and b entered in. So that's what it looks like. Now the the um, last part of the question is asking to find the probability of a randomly chosen value of x being less than one standard deviation above the mean. So I need to know what the standard deviation is first. So what I've done is pop that information into my lovely calculator and it gives me the standard deviation of 1.195. So one standard deviation above the mean is 1.195 plus the mean. The mean is the expected value of x which we've been given. So that is 3.945. So now we want to know the probability that x is less than that number. So we just then add up the 0.19, the 0.2, the 0.38, because these values of x are not less than 3.945. And the final answer is 0.77. So that's the answer to that question.